Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk, take two. Um, I did my whole coffee talk this morning in the peace and quiet with a cup of coffee in my pajamas and it deleted off my phone and it was such an important one. So many of you have written to me and said, Jamie, you talk about narcissists, you talk about abusive relationships, you talk about manipulators, but what about when you're talking about your own parents, your mother or your father or a sibling? And I think, okay, we, this needs to be addressed. This light is going to drive me nuts. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, this is a very real thing, okay? For some reason... The, the inner child in us still seeks our parental approval. We still allow our parents to push us further than we would let anybody else push us because inside we don't want to disappoint them, but at the expense of our own emotional and mental health, it's got to stop. Their behavior is habit now. It's their survival that's, so understand that. They, that's how they are making themselves feel safe and secure, by manipulating, controlling you, okay? It is okay to say this doesn't work for me, but there has to be sort of, when a, when a parent is a narcissist, the child is often codependent. The parent knows that they can, that the, that the daughter will constantly listen and, and sort of submit and the daughter, in turn, becomes afraid to say no and becomes a mommy pleaser, but feels resentful and gross about it. This will affect your other relationships. How many of us have these relationships with our parents where our spouse goes, dude, she takes up your whole life. Your mother controls your whole life. She controls whether you're happy or sad. Your emotions are based solely on how your relationship is with her. Okay, it has to stop. It's 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 going to hurt your actual family dynamic. It's going to affect the way you parent your children. I know you don't want that. I don't want that. I know you don't want that. How to tell if you're in one of these relationships with your parents is when you start to neglect your core basic relationships with your spouse, with your children, with your siblings, because this relationship consumes you consumes your mind, consumes your physical presence, like it is your primary focus. The other thing is if your self-esteem hangs on how that relationship is doing. So if you're, you and your mother are on the outs and you feel bad about yourself and you allow her and her actions and her words to make you feel worse or bad or guilty or not enough or not good enough or whatever, boundaries need to be set. I'm not saying dump your mother on the side of the street, okay? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that it is not okay for anybody to have that much control over you. You are the president of you. You say who, you say when, you say how much. Just because she is your mother, just because he is your father, does not give him the right to control you, to manipulate you, to abuse you. You are not put on this earth for any of that. It, this is a test in your strength to see if you can be strong enough to set the boundaries that need to be set. I'm going to give you an example. My mother loves to call me at the most inopportune times. My mother loves to call me at 4.45 in the afternoon on a school day. You know what that is? That's a shitstorm in mommyhood, okay? That's unpacking backpacks, making lunch for the next day, asking the kids how their day was, getting homework started, trying to get dinner started, right? She loves to call me at 4.45 and go, what, you don't call me? You never call me? None of my kids ever call me. And she goes into this thing, that's fine. I just won't talk to any of you. You know what that's called? Narcissistic injury. There's a name for that behavior. Narcissistic injury. The woes me, nobody loves me. I'm going to manipulate or guilt you into doing what I want you to do or to paralyze you emotionally. So for a long time, I would stop everything I was doing and I would go, Ma, I'm sorry. What's going on? I was going to call you, but blah, 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 blah. Now I go, oh, I'm so sorry that you feel that way, but I'm still in the middle of mommyhood shitstorm, so I got to go. When's a good time I can call you back? I had to set boundaries 
because I stopped looking forward to talking to my mom. It got to the point that when I saw her calling, it made me feel anxious. And I love my mom. I don't want to feel anxious with my mom. I don't want to feel manipulated. I, I, I don't want to feel that way. So I set boundaries. And now I say, Ma, let's pick one or two times a week that I can call you when I'm alone. I'm not with the kids. I'll take a 15 minute break from work, whatever it is, and we'll catch up. Pleasant for everybody. I remove the control for her to manipulate me, set small boundaries. Everybody's happy. You also, you got to practice being alone, away from the person who has so much control over you. You have got to get comfortable with feeling that void because a lot of us continue to go back because it's what feeds us for so long that when we're not in the cycle of abuse or manipulation or whatever, we almost feel lonely without it. Check yourself. Figure out how to get away from it and be okay without it. Because you're as much of the problem as they are. They do, they, they put the behavior on you, you absorb it, your soul eats it, they continue to feed. Remove the hungry soul and be okay with it. Like truly, I am setting you free to set boundaries. Set boundaries slowly and, and small so you don't trigger like some angry, crazy behavior in the person that's treating you this way. But you have got to say, for example, if your mother says something hurtful to you that you know you don't like, say, you know what, mom, that right there, that doesn't work for me. That hurts me. And I know you don't want to hurt me. So I'm going to ask you to be more conscious of the things that come out of your mouth. If she does it again, remove yourself from the situation by any means necessary. And like a toddler, watch her pitch a fit. Watch her call every sibling you have, every other family member to say what a piece of shit you are. Be prepared for that because they, they will act out. That's the narcissistic injury in them. Let them act out. Resist the urge to go running back no matter how much guilt you feel. Set the boundary and stick to it because eventually the behavior will change the same way like a toddler, right? You remove them from a situation or you remove yourself. They're pitching a fit on the floor. You walk into the other room. Eventually the tantrum stops and they come back out to see if you still love them. And that's when you can say, mom, I do still love you, but you cannot talk to me that way. And all the behavior afterwards where you called my sister and you did this and you did that, that doesn't work for me either. I love you and I want to be here for you, but it has to work for me too. I love you today. You are so worth it. Have a great day.